Hey everybody, this is Vanessa de Berlay and welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Vanessa de Berlay. And today I'm going to show you how to find free images or free photos or graphics that you can use in your website, your thumbnails, on your Instagram posts, all over social media without going to a whole bunch of different sites. I know there are lists and lists and lists of those out there. I'm going to show you a very, very easy way that you can find the perfect photo. And I, when I learned this, I was like blown away. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much easier and it will save so much time. And time is valuable, if, especially if you're starting your own business. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and you will see a video every Tuesday and Friday where I will help give you videos to help you build your YouTube channel and your affiliate marketing business. So don't forget to hit that bell. Okay, so here we are. Any other time you've been looking for photos, you've probably been to different websites and blogs and you keep getting these lists. If you're like me, you started saving all these different locations where you could go get free photos. It's awesome. They do have free ones, but I'll never forget the one, the, the last few times I've looked before I found this new way, I found that I kept going to all these sites and I just couldn't find the right photo. And sometimes the same one kept popping up uh, or different Photo companies would come in and throw ads in. It, it was just really frustrating the last couple times. Well, since then, I have found a one-step, easy, one-stop one shop, you could say, to find your photo. And I'm going to show you that today. So let's go ahead and make an Instagram post using my new method. All right, here I am on Get Stencil. I like to use Get Stencil to create my thumbnails and my Instagram posts. And what I need is an image. Now, Get Stencil does offer some images, so let's go there and look. There's some templates here, but I'm looking for something a little different. I'm, I'm, I'm scrolling and I just can't find what I want. And sometimes this takes even longer um, because you know what you want, but you can't find it. Um, I'm even going to type it in. Let's say I want a picture of a lion. Okay, Let me, I didn't even do this ahead of time. Let's see if there's even one here. Okay, there's one there. That's not too bad looking. Nice photo, but maybe I want the whole lion. I want to talk about having strength um, and how to walk your path or something like that, okay? So maybe I want a, a different photo. So let's go over to Google and we're going to type in lion image. Now, you might be saying, yeah, but we can't use those images because copyright issues, right? You're correct. There are. Let's go ahead and select images. Some of these photos are actually photos you're allowed to use. And the way that you distinguish that, now watch what I'm doing, because this is the video. This is the part of the video that you want to know, okay? And I do have one other surprise for you, so don't leave after this, because another, another thing that I think you don't know. Um, <laughs> I like to share these things because I went so long not knowing and it just takes up so much darn time. All right, we're going to go under settings. I'm going slow so that you can write this down and then go under advanced search. Scroll down and see here where it says um, safe search. Oh, wait, 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 not there. Usage rights, sorry. Usage rights, it's the last one. So scroll to the bottom, write that down. Scroll to the bottom. And then you're gonna hit the drop down. And it says commercial and other licenses or creative commons licenses. Okay, so you are going to select creative common license. And that allows you to use any pictures that pop up. It's where people have created photos that they're allowing other people to use them for free. So look how many nice choices that I have of a lion. Look at them. I may not have a full picture of a lion like I thought I was looking for, but I do have a full body. I have some um, nicer images of the face. There's a full body here, but I can pick the image that I want and I can use it. So what's another topic that you might have? Let's look for, let's go back up here to the top and look for a lot of you look for an office, uh, desktop office view, right? Desktop office view. 
Now again, I've got Creative Commons still selected. You wanna check it every single time because sometimes it kicks off and it goes back to all, but these are all photos that I can use. Look how fast I found them. Usually when I have to go to one of those other places, I can't even remember what they're called anymore because I don't use them. It just takes forever. If you go to Adobe or Unsplash or, you know, here's that list again, I'll pull it back up for you, that big list that we, we had earlier. Um, Pixabay, Pexels. If you go to those, yes, there's some in there, but I just find that it's, I don't have as much luck and I have to go to three or four different ones to find the, the right one and it takes a lot of time. But if you use this, the way I just showed you, go to that advanced search, you can get them right like that. And that's what this is all about. So that's what we're gonna do first. Now I wanna show you something else. I'm gonna go back to Get Stencil really quick. I wanna show you something else that Get Stencil does. Um, Let's just put any photo over here. Okay, there we go. I wanna show you something else here um, with the text. One of the things that I always thought was cool when I saw it on Instagram or different social media posts was how the text is outlined. Uh, Canva does not do that, and that's why I went over to get stencil. But here I have black text, okay? I'm gonna make it larger, something really big. Let's move this out of the way, let's say, I have a big word here that I want to use and I'm going to make the text size really big and I want it to pop. All right, down here where it says outline color, I can outline that and really make it pop. And that is another tip I'm giving you today because you cannot do that on Canva and you can do it here on Get Stencil. So definitely if I want my text to pop, I, I will use that. You can use it on your thumbnails, your Facebook posts, your social media, um, your Instagram, any of those different social media places. So two things, I hope that they were helpful for you and they're gonna make you up your game um, on your social media posts, just to kind of stand out from your competitors. And let me know in the chat. Let me know below if, if you learned something new. If you already knew about those two things, then great. Maybe you have another tip that you can share with our audience below. And if not, let me know if you learned something new today. I'd love to, to know that I was helping you out. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.